Hi, I'm Tom Strachey, and today I'll teach you how to create a skin shader using the V-Ray Fast Triple S2 shader. And let's get started. Uh, first of all, I'll show you how many units uh, your head um, must have. So I'll take a tape tool, uh, about 18 a, a max units, default max units. So I'm using a V-Ray light, a backlight. So uh, 3.0 on multiplier, color white, pure white. So this light will create a nice contour on the, the head, uh, like a ring light does. Actually, this light can be invisible. And I create another light for the scene, a key light. We will have about uh, 15 on the multiplier. This light can be invisible or not. It's up, it's up to you. Color white. And, and it's pretty much it for the lights. I'm using a subdivision uh, 32. And for the backlight, 8. Let's go to create the material. First of all, the scale. I'm setting this to 10 because my head has about 18 units. So I found this value very good for, for the size. The prepass I'm setting up to 0. The IOR about to 1.6. This will kick up the, the light a lot, the, the reflection of the the skin. I'm setting at a low value, 1.6. Uh, overall color and diffuse color. I'm um, using a yellow pale tone, um, but I'm, I made a texture on Photoshop, so I'll show you in a moment. There we go. Um, you can just once, uh, just use a w one single color if you wish. I made this to to give a dynamic result. So it's up to you use these values or not. Let's go back to main root. I'm setting up three textures, same textures. Only the bump I'm setting the to fifty. And the most important is the diffuse amount. I'm using a fell off map, fell off map. Um, basically, you can have you can have a good view on the material editor. It's kind of ugly. It's kind of sharp and uh, noisy. I don't know. But in the render, you have a good result. Basically, it's a um, I switched to shadow light and inverted the black with the white. So black on top, white at the bottom. And I make a simple curve. Just move the, the gradient. And now I will show you the render panel, the V-Ray configurations. I use the basics, basic setups for my renders. Um, GI, simple GI, blue color, um, primary bounces 1.0, secondary bounces 0.9, uh, irradiance map low, and nothing more, just the basics. I try to make a uh, hinder with um, HDR images, but I didn't achieve a good result. And I roll back to um, to one color GI. So this way I achieved much better results for for this kind of shader. This is an example from HDR image and no HDR, just the 
the base KGI with a blue color. This last one is the actually is, is how the shader looks like. So you can see very detailed in the quality of the render. Now let's jump up the to the material edge door and set up the basic configuration. Uh, first of all, you can skip the diffuse amount configuration, so you can uh, input any value that that will be not affected because we are using the fall off map in the diffuse amount channel. Um, and now I set up a pure red as the subsurface color, so this color will be reflected at the back of the model, S so we have a nice scattering in this model with this color. I'm using 255, O and O to the RGB. Um, for the scatter color, I'm using a light pink, so we can achieve a nice translucence effect for this shader. And it's pretty much it. Now the scatter radius using 0.5, and uh, phase function 0.4, specular color, white, specular amount at 0.8, specular glossiness 0.5, and subdivisions 8, 5. This is the basic configuration. I switch the ray trace refractive scatter um, um, and I increase the single scatter subdivisions to a 16 and refraction depth to 8 um, and I turn off the scatter GI uh, because it increases a lot the time of render Basically, this is the final render, and there's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of details, good uh, translucence, nice scattering. Well, that's it. I hope you like it, guys. And if you have any questions, just send me an uh, email. Okay? See you around.